and uh, somebody told me about this business uh, that is around uh, eight years ago then i came in and there's something that has kept me in the business and that that one is training training has kept me in the business and whenever i see uh, people come in and they are and they are and they are coming in for training i really get excited because i know that is the place to be when you train you become better you you actually become informed so that so many things when they come and you're in the business you get to know i am going to do with this one this way i am going to do with this one in this manner and all that and you survive and not only that you live well now um for those now almost eight years uh i've benefited uh, majorly in, in the in the areas of health in the areas of uh, finance and i have really traveled in this business i've really enjoyed getting into an airplane something that was not uh, the norm uh, that is that was not what was happening to me uh, but today things have really changed and I really enjoy it. And uh, this evening, I would like us to start off. And the, the lady that is going to, to do the presentation, um, not only came to the business, but she was so eager to grow. And though she has been in employment and really engaged in many things, she purposed, actually she purposed to grow. And she has, that one has already happened to her. And as we talk today, she is one of the, actually the known people in, not only in Kenya, but beyond, and definitely now going to, uh, towards what we call president team members. So this evening, I would want to wish that you get a, a notebook, get a pen, write down a number of points, because what she is going to share you are, you are going to share it in your team tomorrow. You are going to share it with other people the day after, you know? You, it will be required of you to do so. And as, we, as I talk to you now, this lady has just come from uh, an incentive uh, uh, see, uh, uh, scene because uh, she, she is actually coming from one of the best hotels in, uh, in Kenya, uh, based in, at the coast region. And uh, I could see her really enjoying last week uh, with her family. And now she's back in Nairobi. So I don't know whether she's still planning to go for Christmas because it's like she has already gotten her Christmas a little bit earlier. Uh, but uh, it is going to be upon her now to decide. But I'm really excited that uh, she got that incentive. And uh, I was I was sharing with somebody because I happened to have invited this this lady uh, to this business, and I was sharing with somebody, and I was telling this person, some people get the wrong idea that in our business, those there are some special people on top there, and I want to tell you there is no nobody on top there because I invited Grace, but last in the last season she won an incentive i did not get i am the sponsor she got the incentive i did not get that incentive what does that one tell you though you may be the sponsor you, every time you get into the business you do it as an individual and there is no limitation not even from the person who invited you in the business that is an exciting bit in this business and uh, I want to invite Grace. And as she comes over, I have seen her wear the coat, different coats for that matter, even for this business, and doing it with such, you know, energy that you can never imagine. And what has also happened, the business has also rewarded her quite well. So I really want to welcome each one of you uh, on this call. I can see we are ready now at 7 one uh thank you very much for being here and i can see amina chebo is uh, busy cooking amina uh, make sure that when we are through uh you, you need to share the supper and uh, so i want us to put our hands together oh okay no, we are not in a physical meeting uh, but I, <laughs> I want us to welcome none other but our upcoming uh president team member grace wanjiko chege karibu sana grace 
Hey, wow, PC. Leo umeniita yote tatu. Wacha tu. <laughs> I'm very excited PT for your yes. uh, invite and for really, you know, sharing how we met because uh, it's nothing special. Today I'm here just to tell people it's about uh, just learning because when you invited me to this business together with PT Purity, I must Thank you so much and God continue blessing you for uh, persistently inviting me because you know, I was not in, interested with the business and that's how we all start. There's nothing special. And I want to tell our members if somebody, you know, your work is not to, you know, your work is not to bulldoze people to join. Your work is to keep sharing information, to keep reminding. That's why we say follow up is a fortune. And that's what Isaac did with me and he kept following me up. And today I am a, a, a distributor. I am a, I'm a world team member and a very excited distributor in your life. Because somebody, you know, thought about me and uh, every month for six months, Isaac invited me relentlessly. And I thank you, PT. And I want to say at this juncture for all those who are here for the first time, Isaac is my upline director and also a, a, a great friend besides being someone who has mentored me in this business. So I'm grateful to you, PT and Purity for supporting me and not only me, but my entire team. And the promise you gave me in February, 2014 is has come alive every day. So. Uh, for those who are here for the first time, you'll know that our business is about support. The business is yours, but we shall help you. We shall help each other to do it. So thank you, PT. Tonight, this evening, I just want to share, and I want to tell you, PT, Amina is my friend. She's uh, she's the one, the one who is really, you know, we can multitask. Once are women, we can really multitask. She's on Zoom, and she's in the kitchen. We can see there. And as well, we can do that in this business. So I'm excited to be back to Na in Nairobi. And I had a great time. I don't want to talk about it. The pictures told the story. And uh, somebody says, if you want people to, if they are saying you cannot do it, do it and make sure you take photos, you take pictures. So for those friends of mine, especially on social media that were telling me that this business cannot be done. And I was telling them I could travel, I could enjoy. Now this time I was really making sure, and I'm very, I love photos because they bring out the memories. And uh, I want to say I'm very excited to be in your life at this time in my life. So I want us to just share today on wearing the right coat in your business. Just imagine wearing the right coat, yeah? The right dress, the right sweater. You know, how do you feel when you are smart and you are, wearing the right clothes and you know you feel confident so what should you really wear what kind of coat in your business should you really wear as a distributor because we are all distributors in your life and i want to say for those who are here for the first time my name is grace chege and i joined new life on part-time basis uh, seven years ago i'm almost now going to seven years and i joined to make extra income new life focuses on three things across the world uh, that is the health the wealth and the lifestyle. And New Life has been there now for the last 62 years in over 50 countries. So it's a wonderful opportunity for the guests who are here. Maybe I know there are one or two who are invited, but I, today is a member's training. And if you are a guest, please stay along, but I know you're going to learn a few things. You might not learn everything we are saying, you might not understand, but I know you will learn something. And I want to tell you uh, about the wearing a new coat is, I remember when I came to New Life because I'm a HR, and I'm a mother, I'm married. And when I came, you know, these issues of products, of attending meetings, of, you know, I don't know, sponsor, I don't know, distributor, there were new names to me. But guess what? I was willing to fit in the court because I wanted to succeed badly. I really wanted money. And I was that kind of a distributor. For the first time, I was wishing like they separate the, the products and they just talk about money. You know, the issues of pyramids, how people want to, they want money. Actually, people will tell you, how many people do I bring so that I get money? You know, in your life, it's different. You must start with your health. We must start with the products. So I always say, 
you cannot, you know, you cannot wear this coat. And it's not only the coat of succeeding in your life business, but it's in the coat of life. Me, I love smiling. I love good things. I love good life. And I always remind people, good life has to come with not only money, but also you have to be in good health to enjoy yourself and the right mindset. And today I want to say, for you to have a fresh new attitude in your business or in life, you cannot start with that when you have a defeated mentality. And I know most of us have gone to school and you're telling me, Grace, you know, I'm very successful in my area. I am also, I'm a, I'm a, I can tell you, I've won many accolades in my area of uh, uh, HRM, human resource management. I have also done public relations. I have gone to school and I'm very good in my, you know, I am very experienced because I have, I have, you know, I, I know I went to school to do that. But remember when I came to New Life, I was feeling like kinda, I want to give excuses because I was feeling like I'm a part-timer. So the full-timers are more successful than me. I was feeling, you know, I am, um, I, you know, there's always this, I don't know, with us human beings, always want you to, to, you want to look, the other person to look more superior. You know, this person is a nurse. That's how they are, they are excelling. You see this person joined me like five years ago. I'm only two years old. And I, I am here to tell you, it's not about when you joined, but the fresh new attitude, the coat you're going to wear. And the coat you're going to wear today, we are going to see is about choices. Because uh, I'm a HR and I'll give you this example. People will, will, will come in and they will, you know, we, maybe we are advertising for, for the longest I've worked for a research organization. So the people I was interviewing are people who have done, uh, who have either a degree in uh, mathematics and statistics or social sciences. And so I would get a lot of uh, uh, CVs and they will come in. So from the CV, every organization sees that you are, your experience, you have a bachelor's, you have a master's, you have an experience. We can see it from your resume. We can see it from your CV and I will see it. But let me ask you today, have you ever imagined why people will still look at your resume or your CV and they will call you in for an interview because they want to check beyond the experience like me, there's something I always check. Do you have the people skills away from your masters? Are you gifted in some area? Because sometimes it's very good to have these employees who are gifted. Because there's somebody who can be, you know, they have a, a, a masters, but they are gifted in another area which does not really require papers. So that is the main reason why many organizations will call people for a one on one. They want to meet you. They want to find out, are you a people person? Because human capital is very important to every organization. And in your life, we say people are number one and people are part of the human capital. So in an interview, we always see people's attitude despite the skills. And I know I've sat in many interviews whereby I've decided whether people are going to get the job or not, but I really don't look at the papers. I look at the papers, but me as Grace, I will always look at your attitude. I will always confuse you with some attitude questions for you to get the job. Because you know, I know you'll tell me you went to more university like here in Kenya, you went to Strathmore, you did this, but I will make sure because sometimes even to face clients, when this person is going to face clients on behalf of the company, they will need to have a good attitude despite of, you know, you can be very good, but at the marketplace, you are not accepted. So you may be gifted in education, and that's why I love New Life because one of our values is that New Life is an equal opportunity for all. We don't look at education. And I was so shocked when I came to New Life and I found people who don't have, they don't even know even how to construct English sentences. Kwanza one was, I remember when I joined, one lady was always making me laugh because she said that when she was told that, I, you know, she, has she had not understood that 
a passport. You see, a passport for travel. And you see me, I knew about a passport for travel because yes, I'm educated. But this lady, when she was talking, when she started now talking about her, the money part of new life, I was like, wow, I think I should listen to her, even if she doesn't know how to construct English sentences. That's how you'll find there are some uh, organizations employing people with higher diploma and leaving good people with degrees because they looked at the attitude not the degree, not the masters. And that is how our business is. It's about the coat you're wearing. Don't, don't wear a failed mentality. I've told you my greatest weakness was like, I was trying to see I'm a part-timer. You see, how will I make it? And I was looking at some people, they have really gone ahead of me. And can I tell you, when I changed my code, when I started seeing this as a business, when I looked at myself, instead of comparing myself with people, because that's another quote that people wear. You keep comparing yourself with Grace, with Isaac, with Rosemel, my friend, I can see you there from UK. Rosemel, I see you there. Don't compare yourself with people. You are original. There's no other Rosemel, there's no other Amina, there's no other Isaac. You are original. So I, I said, I can be able to build my own empire because the company is supportive. My sponsor, Isaac and Purity are supportive. So I can be able to grow as grace without comparing myself. Because when you wear that coat of comparing yourself and having self-pity, you will say, you see now I'm not in that country. You see now I'm not in Tanzania where people are doing very well. You don't have to be in Tanzania. You just need to be where you are and just become proactive. So it's very good to, you know, don't say that you can't sell. There are people who will come and say, you know, I've never, it, even me as Grace, I'll tell you, I had not sold anything when I came to New Life. I had not sold anything. And especially this language of saying Trienen and carotenoid was not my thing. So what did I need to do? I had to change my, 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 my schedule. I had to adjust that after five, I will go for the training because today they are training on reproductive health. And I need to know because I was a senior manager by that time. So as you wear the right code, there are some adjustments you're going to make. And as a new distributor, I'll tell you, you have to sacrifice. And today I'll tell you, for you to sacrifice to be on Zoom, we, you have joined this business at the right time. You don't know some of you how some of the leaders we have transferred this country. Friday, I'm at work. In the evening, I'm going to Kisumu. I land in Kisumu. I've not slept. I take a shower and I do the BOP. Then I go to Eldoret and I do a BOP. I sleep there. I do a, a BOP or in Kakamega. Then I come back on Sunday. I sleep for two hours. Then I go back to the office. So now we have Zoom. And you're still telling me you don't have time to attend Zoom at all. So you adjust. When you want to wear the right coat, the right attitude, the winning attitude, you have to really make sure you adjust. It's okay, you might not know how to sell. But you know what? Hmm. I have my friend here, and I know she's on this call. I was with her yesterday in Voy. Uh, the day before yesterday, after I left my, my, uh, my holiday in Mombasa, by the way, you should know that after me leaving my holiday in Mombasa, I went out of comfort zones and I was in Voy and I went all the way to Taveta. And <laughs> in Taveta I was with Shali. She's on this call, I know. And, uh, you know, before we got to Taveta, there was a place we, where we had to, to pass the Tsavo National Park. And there were so many animals there. And there are some, you know, it's a big national park. And we went to Taveta. And, and, I remember Shali, we were with her and we went to see the former governor that is on, 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 on Monday uh, for Taita Taveta. And when we were at uh, the governor and, and we were coming with Shali and we were seeing farmers there in Taveta, I remember I was looking at Shali and I remember Shali the first time she told me, Mimi Grace Siwezi Uza, and she was really selling. And she's barely a month in the business. And she had not sold anything. But on Monday, we were with her. She sold to the governor because Mia had no super groups. She sold to other farmers. She was getting, I was just there to support her. We were with her. And I went back to Voy where I, I, you know, I came back from Voy yesterday. So what am I trying to say? It's okay. You don't know how to sell, but you will learn to sell. Do you want money? Me, I joined your life to make money. 
And because I didn't know life to make money, I tell you, my friend, I had to know how to sell the products. And I didn't know, I didn't have time to go around with the products, but I was told you can share the product with people. When you use the products, you know our basics. I don't want to go to the basics, but our basics, you have to use these products. You have to use LDC. Guess what? Because you've used LDC, you will not be shy away from talking about it. So another thing about your indicator, about uh, wearing the, the, the right coat, it is about really how you feel. Because somebody said how you feel, you know, brings out the aspect of how, how you will act. For example, in an aeroplane, just imagine in an aeroplane, there's a, there's a gadget, I think they call, they call it a altitude indicator, where when the, aero, the, the, the pilot wants to go high, they tell it, they tell the, the indicator nose high. And if they want to go low, they, they pull it nose low. So there are that time in your life and in this business, let's say you are just one week old, you are feeling like people know everything. You've met with Grace, you've met with Mary Waka, with Purity, with Jenna Nyona, uh, you know, with uh, our directors who are here, Marjorie and uh, Ellen Murakwa, uh, Helen Murakwa and Ellen Mutemi, all those are leaders I'm mentioning. And you feel that these leaders know so much. That is how I was feeling when I was new dis a new distributor. But I discovered that every day, every week, every month that I was growing in the business because I committed to training. And I me, I tell you, it's good to, to, to keep chatting with people who are winning. I used to see people, they come. <laughs> they join the business and they become directors. They leave me there as a senior manager. And I was not mad with them. I was feeling like these people are going nose high and they're leaving me at as a senior manager. And I used to befriend them and tell them, oh, how did you get to director? And they tell me, oh, Grace, you're not a director. I tell them, no, I'm, a st I'm still a senior manager. So I was there, but I was trying to keep my attitude on nose high. That's why they were even confused <laughs> how I'm not a director because I was not frowning you know there are these people who are like when I get to director that's when I'll be happy when I get to director that's when I'm sorry you're not going to get to director I smile now that you're a manager smile now that you're a distributor so there's simple things I remember I was always being told when I was a distributor about number one being teachable your posture Sometimes there are people who are like always like this in a meeting. Nobody has died. Nothing has happened, but they're always like this. Who will join your business when you are like this? This is a, a very wrong posture. And you're always like, you know, you're not sure. Please, I, I used to, I remember when I was a senior manager, I was presenting to someone and then I tell them about your life and I'm so confident and they just let me down and they tell me, oh, then I tell them, ah, me, I'm, uh, 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 I'm a senior manager. Ah, they tell me, ah, Ujafika is a Itanga director. Ah, then you know nothing. You know, I was just coming on nose high. That person, <laughs> they think I'm a, I'm a director, but I'm not. Because that is the coat I choose to wear, even when things were not working. Because you know why? I've seen other people succeed. Uh, sometimes we are discouraged and we are just human over, you know, over some issues and our attitude gets nose down. And when you are nose down, what happens? You're discouraged, you don't pick calls, and you are just saying these people are disturbing me. They don't know yesterday I talked to 10 people and nobody said no. My God, you need to talk to 100 and only two people will say no. That's how now you will fine tune your attitude and people will always get you ready. I know my friends, some of them, I call them to this business. And this time is when they are joining, when I'm already seven years. But they have always seen me with this attitude of nose high. Even when as a director, I'm not very excited because you know things do happen and sometimes the performance is not to your best. So today, I just want you to think about if you change the quote, if you change your thinking, if you change, you know, your attitude goes high. And this comes with a choice. There is, I tell people, there is no problem. I know there are people who tell me, Grace, you know my attitude is because, hey, the way I was brought up, me, Grace, it's okay. The way, there is the way you are brought up, there is the way you are, 
and I know even in this call we have our great leaders like Piti Bundi who was even a KDF soldier and, and minor and so many others. There is the way you are professional was you don't smile. You know, soldiers don't smile. There is the way you are brought up, but there is who you choose to be. I want to remind you today, there is the person you choose to be. You can choose to be, oh no, me, I don't talk to people. You know, me, I can't just talk to people about products. That's the person you choose to be. You know me, I can't do this network marketing. This network marketing thing is not my thing. That is the person you choose to be. I just want to remind you that. Because life, you have to take choices. And it's better you take the right choices. Because when you, you know, when you feel like there's what happened to you or where you are coming from, or you know I have never sold anything. You know me, I'm not even a teacher. Me, I, I am an introvert. Hey, you have to wear the coat ya kutaka maneno ya watu, eh? Sababu, najua kuna watu wanasema wataki maneno ya watu. And let me tell you, ukikuwa kwa watu, when you are with people, that's why you get money. That's when somebody will tell you that their mamas and arthritis. That's how you'll know that, oh, my friend Brian loves traveling. Ukikuwa kwa watu, that's when you'll join and you will know. You cannot change other people. It's okay. It's not your work to change other people. It's okay when people say no. Guess what? Me, so many people said no. I remember when I was a new distributor, I was on my list. I put all my cousins. I said, I know all my cousins are going to join. Hey. And then I put all my friends. Hey, some of them, I especially I have my friends who are two of them who are bankers. They joined. The day they joined, after one week, they left. I don't want to mention their names, but one of them has a lot of financial crisis right now. What if I cried over them? What if I said, you know, they're my friends we go to coffee with. So I want to tell you, you cannot change what other people are thinking, but wear the right coat of saying, it's okay, Doris, Kamau, Ocheng are not joining. But you see, I have another day tomorrow to wake up to share the opportunity. And that is how I develop this positive attitude because when you, you stay upon those things of, of controlling you, you'll be in bitterness, you will be discouraged, you will have self-pity and you will compare yourself with other people. You start saying, you see somebody like Rachel Minor, Rosemel, Elizabeth, those people work in Europe, uko US. Uh, 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 uh. It's okay. Do you know there are people in that US and Europe and they have never even joined in your life and they are still there and they are still sick. So it's not about where you are. I am here in Kenya and I have been able to do this opportunity right here. And that's one of the things about that is so outstanding about the business of New Life that we are all, most of us like this evening in Africa or in Kenya, to Kokwa Nyumba, we are in the house. And we are still doing business. So you don't have to be in a certain place. I don't know, UK. Or don't, no, 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 no. Just position, put yourself in the right court. And the right court is talking to people, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, the things that as you are coming for training, be proactive, go to Facebook, go to WhatsApp, share about the products because I tell people, nobody will do for you this business because now I will train you. I will, you know, Miriowaka will do kit launch for you and Purity will come and do the product training. Jena Nyona will come and do this. Marjorie will come and do this. Monica Misore will come and do this. And then the next time the director is doing this, but what are you going to do? Your work is to get out here and it's one relationship at a time. And I can tell you this because I feel the new people. And every time I start talking about training, I just don't want to talk about my life as a Ruby director. I want to talk about my life in growth. Because as you grow in network marketing, you get so many challenges. So purpose to make adjustment, adjustment in your attitude, adjustment in your time. Throw out friends who don't matter. Let me repeat that. Throw out some friends because some friends, I remember like me, on Friday, we were going to Java and having some sweet time. And you know, sometimes we were just go there discussing funny things. Now, when I joined in your life, I was going for training. I don't know why I'm going to Kisumu. I don't know what you are meeting, which prospect. So my friends, I was with them and I was gaining nothing, just Moshene. 
please mind you, they are still my friends. I didn't leave them. But what I did, I had to adjust myself. Some of you are saying, you know, you know, my friends, I know you are always going to every function. But how can you tell me that you're going to every function? And when you need some money, you don't have the money because you spent all your money with your friends. And now they're telling you they cannot lend you some money. And so some friends misunderstood me. Those adjustments will make even some family members misunderstand you. I remember my two sisters. <laughs> One has already joined now in your life after six years. <laughs> my sister told me, Grace, you know, we can't take those things. We don't know them. Who has verified them? And remember, those are my two blood sisters. So rejection is part of adjusting. You know how I adjusted? Because my sisters will always be my sister. I adjusted to, I will not talk to them about in your life, but I'll always be excited. And I remember when I went to, you know, do it and take photos. I have told you that. I remember when we went to Sun City in 2015 and I showed my sister the visa. My sister was like, Aya. Kumbe ni ukweli. Yani Grace, you know, this thing, it's, it's true. This thing you have been doing. Let me tell you, some of you want to live in the opinions of others. That's why you want to make your friends very happy. And that's why you say, what you know, in your life, it's okay. Those are my two sisters. But what I did, I just befriended them. We were friends, but I never discussed new life. But with time, they came to love new life. They even get for me customers. Even where they go and hear about another company, they tell people, hey, 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 shut up. I will introduce you to my sisters. New life has, my sister Grace, new life has the best. You know, they talked about new life as if, you know, they know new life 100%. Why? Because, sitoki. Because that is my dream. Some of you are being derailed from your dreams because a friend said no. A friend that you hold so dear. I don't know, road trip. It's okay. But I want to tell you the greatest thing that has impacted my life, not only the money and the travel, but what if I said no to new life? The people who have come to New Life and they have used our products and they are no longer sick. This evening I was conversing with a customer of mine. She's in Chavakali. And we were talking. And she told me, Grace, do you know size the blood sugar? She had said a long time without using the product. She told me, you know, my blood sugar this morning was eight. Now we 23 two weeks ago. Now we have botanical, fiber, and provitality. She's okay. So for me, what if I said no? The life of Elizabeth, the life of so many people, because new life is not just about making the adjustments for money, but it is about the person you become through helping others to change their health. So be friendly, be respectful, and give people compliments. It's okay. I, I, I'm reading this great book always, the GoPro. And Eric Warren says, it's okay. Sometimes it's not the right time. So you just, Kasirikati, somebody has not joined, revisit again and it will be, it will be the right time. So say, saying no, you know, having that quote of adjusting is very important because when you adjust, you keep the friendship. Please note that. When you adjust, you keep the friendship. When you keep the friendship, the door is open. Other than when somebody says no, now when una kasirika unafura, you say, ah, these people, they don't know how, you know, they don't know how people are making money here. You know, it's okay, but maybe they will come at another time. So I really want to say that attitude of wearing the right coat, and also you need to have an attitude of faith and praise. Faith and praise is very important because when you are in faith, you're believing that, you know, as you follow up, as you follow up, because we say follow up, you know, you almost, uh, Eric Warren says this, and networkers know this, you almost, most of the people you follow them almost six times so that they can join. So you are having the faith and also you are, you are, you are, you know, you're having the praise. You're believing that you're going to become a director. The self, uh, you know, the self believe you are excited. Like me, I remember when I was a senior manager, I was even sometimes alone in my house and I was saying, director even in Then I talk to my chairs eh, in the house. Eh? I don't know whether you're getting me. I talk to the chairs and I just say, 
the day I'll be called as a director, I was in praise of myself. I was expectant. There are people who are not expectant. Ukimuleza sa utaenda safa ya lini na uko director and asema, hey, mungu tu akipenda. Ni sawa mungu atapenda. But which coat are you wearing? Are you expectant? Are you, you know, are you doing the right thing towards that? So remove the wrong coats, the, the coats of bitterness, of, of comparison. Uh, be ready to learn, you know. Be ready to, to talk about the truth. Like now today, at this stage of COVID-19, we have a tool that is very important. You should introduce to people to Zoom. You should talk about Zoom. You should tell someone, by the way, we don't have to meet in Kakamega. We don't have to meet in Nyeri or Mombasa. We can meet via Zoom. And then you can tell them to download Zoom. And all these things will come when you have that attitude of faith and follow up and talking to people. Because remember, we have the four basics. You cannot share the opportunity when you're quite somewhere and say, eh, I can do to a trainer. No, you have to use it and people see it in your face. Like me, I, I use the nutrients. So when you look at my face, someone will ask me, you know, what do you use, Grace? And I tell them, I use the Neo Life Nutrients organic products and they will buy because they can see. Purpose to start talking to people. Wear that new coat. Be excited. Encourage yourself. Listen. Be a good listener. Learn. Pascal Olaf says the best things you can do sometimes is to listen. Sometimes to listen also to to the people in your team, listen to the distributors, listen to your customers, because sometimes the customer may come and they really don't, you know, they don't understand what you're saying, but when you listen to them, they later listen to you. Let go of what did not work. Let go of what did not work and declare good things because our business is more so about attitude. It's not about degrees. That's why you see there are people doing this business and they cannot talk English because it's about their attitude. It's about how they believe, how they dress. They look the part. It's not about dressing about you know millions of money, but you look the part. You feel good about yourself. You feel excited. I imagining, you know, the same. I, I, I want. I want to ask you this. Uh, question i know it's a rhetoric question but imagine you have for 30 years you wear the same clothes you will be stinking you will not be smart you will not be excited you look heavy that is how some of us make you know you 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 block the blessing because monday you are like tuesday like you know people are not joining ikitu watu waingi ikitu so you are just talking like that. So you are wearing the face, the same face. Even if you are going for an event, you are like, eh, me, I don't know. It's okay. Me, I used to go for a meeting. I've invited 50 people and nobody turns up. But you see, when I'm called up as a senior manager to give my testimony, I'll always give my testimony. I'm always giving excited because I was plowing back. I was, you know, and that attitude of praise is what God sees. And God brought the people. He brought them and I became a director. And be between director to world team, I took less time because I think I took three months to get to Sapphire director. Because you see, it was like, I'm pressing so much, I'm trying to be positive, but nothing was happening. I was still a senior manager. So purpose, it's, you have to really purpose because it's not easy and you're just human. So that quote, you have to really wear the coat of adjusting, of educating yourself, of going to the back office and learning what other people are doing, of coming, of just congratulate other people. You are in the WhatsApp group. People are being congratulated. We are congratulating Amina Rosemel. We are congratulating Miriam Menjo. We are con congratulating Eileen. And we are congratulating who and who. And you, you are just there, quiet. Let me tell you, be part of the praise and God will see that. Me, I'm always excited when I see a new distributor coming. It doesn't matter whether they are not in my team, but I know if that distributor has joined in Kisi and they are very uh, optimistic, then when I get my new prospect in Kisi, I will connect them with the lady from Kisi. So it doesn't matter because we win all together and that is in network marketing, we embrace teamwork. So let's be excited. So wear that coat of excitement. Don't wear one coat for so long. I know there's somebody who wronged you. That person never turned up for the meeting. And you know that time we had invited, I don't know who, and I don't know who. It's okay, they never turned up, but you know, you will invite them another thing, another time and they will come. Because I want uh, a friend of mine to share her story because her story is very intriguing. I know she's on this call. I just want to mention a few things we need to do for us to change our code and not only about our code about neolife but we are in relationships 
we are in many things. We do work. Even where you work, people can hate you in the office because you are always like, you're not excited and you're not a team player. So you need to believe in God and you need to believe in yourself. When you believe in yourself, you feel like, yes, I'm going to sponsor. I know I've not sponsored today, 16th, I'm not sponsored, but I'm still going to sponsor. Be ready to learn. People who are coming from the professional world like me, be ready to adjust, be ready to learn about 3NN, about carotenoid, about sharing. Be ready to learn. You are not a social media person, but be ready to learn about Instagram. Be ready to adjust. Changes are not very easy but it's, they are worth it. Grow, purpose to grow other people as you grow yourself. Purpose to read books about network marketing. You know, all those things, avoid being judgmental. And what is judgmental? Just thinking that, oh, you know, when I invite Paul, when I look at Paul or when I look at Gladys, they look like they know everything about health. Vile kwaza wanakulanga tu machungwa. Then you judge them, you don't tell them about your life and you walk away because you think they eat healthy and maybe they are eating like that because they are diabetic and you you have not shared about new life so me i will always share it's okay you might not take my opportunity but i will always share don't be avoid being judgmental don't say hey vile nikimwangalia huyo anakaa tu akona pesa i just need extra income it's okay maybe they have the money they are driving a machine but they have somebody else. They also want to make more money maybe, or they have somebody else. Don't be judgmental. That is one thing that is killing new distributors. You are fearful, fear and judgment. You are like, you are judging, you're fearing. No, don't fear our products work. Me, I always say even now when I'm big, if the president calls me the president of Kenya, I'm going to do the presentation. I've told you on Monday, I went to the former governor of, of uh, Taita Taiveta, and we were with Shali. I believe she's on this call. And Shali was telling me, Grace, you are just presenting. And you know, the governor was just nodding and nodding and nodding. And guess what? I didn't even have a laptop or anything. Everything, I just had my notebook and I was well set and I was confident. And guess what? He bought the super group. So I just want, because he's a big farmer, I just want to say when you are, you know, when you are set, when you're wearing the right coat, you know, you, you will say, okay, I'm, you know, you will be confident because our business is not about many, many complicated things. It's about simplicity. You believing in yourself, avoid procrastination. Members, please avoid saying that you will do this in January. You will become a, no, become a director in December. Don't say that you know, is a point me, I'm to 15 itafanya, tarea 28, no. Do it now. I'm so happy I've seen a lot of people there are over 250 points, imagine. And we are at 16, uh, we are on 16th of the month. So I really want to encourage you, avoid procrastination. If you want to wear the right coat of success, avoid procrastination, eliminate fear. I just want to uh, just read something here on GoPro and I believe you can hear me. And this is about how we come into network marketing. And if you have the GoPro, it's page 39. It says, you know, the, the, the topic is inviting prospects to understand your product or opportunity because most of us are thinking that this opportunity is about, oh, the people who came first. No, Isaac has told us it's not about the person who came first. It's about the person who is ready to learn. Once you have identified your prospects, the next, the next skill is learning how to properly invite them to find out more about your product or opportunity. This is by the far the most critical skill to develop. How to invite them for Zoom to come and hear. Your work is not pushing them to pay. First, invite them. I call it the gateway. That's Eric. Skill for network marketing. If you aren't successful in getting anybody to have a look, then we guess what the future will look at MLM. So you need to really get people on board. Most people think that you must start off with great reputation and have a lot of influence with others for them to look at the opportunity. You don't have to be a director. I have seen senior managers, managers, distributors coming to this business and they take it by storm. In two months, they are directors. They don't look at themselves that, oh, they are managers. This is what Eric is saying. Most people think you must start off with great reputation. No, you don't have to be a, a super, a, a, you know, a wealthy member. You can do it. I remember I came to New Life 
and it, in one in 11 months i became a safari director and other people have taken five years to become a director a, a, a director a, a, a safari director so it's not about when i came but what did I really want to do? That's not true. He says, that's not true. When I first started in 1988, I had no repetition. I had no influence. I barely escaped high school, mm -hmm, no degree. Attended one semester of community college before dropping out and had a total 18 jobs and are transferring. Uh, so they tried to connect me with people as much as possible. The second thing they did was to invite people to review so, uh, sort of a tool and they give brochures there's a website in your life we have the website in your life we have the back office so we can be able to you know to you know to be able to be confident because we have the back office online presentation we have zoom with some companies and this this is a this book was not written now so eric warren knew that even at this time, by God's grace, he knew maybe our, our God had directed him, there'll be times that we shall not do face to face, but the tools will work. We have, Neo Life has the best tools, that is the online tool. We have the back office, we have these Zoom trainings, you have your team leader, you have the upline director, you have your upline sponsor, you have people who are ready to support you. You are not going to do it alone. There's no question that technology continues to evolve, it's true. The other time we didn't have Zoom. Offering more and more convenient, convenient ways, true, to help educate the prospects. Like now on this call, you can invite your prospects, you can be in Tanzania and your prospect is in Malawi, but we can be on the same Zoom. While technologies allows us to get people quality information quickly, we can also meet them on physical. So there is a way of, you know, I can talk so much about what we need to do to change our attitude. But one of the things we do is to learn new things about network marketing. And when you read this book and so many other books, not only GoPro, and you go online and read materials of network marketing, you will be able to learn. So I'm very, very happy to say that you need a new quote. And I want to call my friend to share a story before we close because she was able to wear a new coat despite of her where she was coming from. She's a world team member. I've traveled the world with her. She's also my namesake. She's called Grace and I know she's on this call. Grace Ngatia, I want you to, to tell us how we should continue even in the new year as we anticipate the new year and as we anticipate to close uh, December, how to wear a new coat. Grace, are you there? Grace, uh, I'm looking for Grace Ngatia. I want to unmute her. Grace Ngatia. Okay. I'm sending, I'm sending something on your phone. Grace, please check or your laptop. Okay. Okay, Grace, can you hear me? Yes, Grace. Yes. Uh, good evening, uh, fellow distributors. Uh, this evening, I'm very excited. And uh, thank you, Grace, for allowing me to come and share. Uh, what I have learned in my journey of neo life, and I want to congratulate all the distributors for participating in this session. Uh, so over ten years ago, I joined this business, and when I flash back and I see how I started, I thank God. This business met me through a total stranger. Um, by profession, I'm an accountant, and I'm also a, a, a hawker because those are the jobs I did before I met this opportunity. And when this business met me, we were very, very broke. For me, I was not interested about the money, but I remember my husband and I, we were struggling to even pay the house rent that we were living. We could not even afford the list, which is 20 shillings. I never even had a phone. And the business was not even being presented to me. The person who was presenting the business looked at me and I looked uh, shaggy. I did not look an excited person. And so she was presenting to the ladies that were looking very smartly dressed. And when she said that there's a business that she does part-time and she's a banker, I moved closer. And I remember I asked her, do you think I can do this business because I'm really, really down financially? And that is how she invited me in the business. Remember, I did not have a phone, so she wrote me her number. And I'm the one who called her to attend a meeting at Nairobi Cinema. And the rest is history because when I went in the meeting, Number one, I met a lot of people in the evening at six o'clock. And I wondered, what are all these people seated doing here in the evening? And when they talked about health, I cared less about it because I thought I'm young and I'm not sick. But I remember the person who was presenting was Mrs. Dorothy Nyongo. 
and that caught my eye. I said, how can a lady from the slum, Grace, be in a meeting with a lady like Anyang Nyongo's wife? And that actually gave me the confidence that probably this thing might be something that is good. And next, they called a lady that is also prominent, the wife of Piraito Morungi, Priscilla. She said, I'm a lecturer at Kenyatta University, and I do this business part-time, and I make 100000 and let me tell you, my mind just blew. And I was like, in this country where I'm sleeping hungry, my parents were retrenched and I was in Form 3 and I'm the first one, I'm supposed to be supporting my parents. And somebody is telling me they're earning 100,000 per time. And that time my salary was less than 10,000 shillings, actually to be precise, 8,000. And I said, I'm gonna do these things. I don't understand what it is, but I will do it. I remember I went out from there and I borrowed money. For me, I borrowed 10 shillings, 5 shillings, 50 shillings until I got the money to start up. So let me tell you, when you have a desire, there is nothing that can stop you. I borrowed the money to start. And when I came in, I remember my upline told me, you must train. And training is very important. And while I was training, they actually told me, you cannot sell from an empty wagon. And do you know what that meant? I did not have product to sell. Remember, I borrowed money to, so to join. And when my upline told me you cannot sell from an empty wagon, I told her, what do you mean? She said, you need to buy some stock. And she helped me borrow money to buy some stock. I borrowed some little money which she facilitated and I bought my stock and I started selling. She told me, Grace, I know you are fearful, but let me tell you, if you're tired of the current situation, you can be successful. I don't know if there's anyone in the call who is tired of poverty. If not, you, you're tired of seeing other people wallowing in poverty, borrowing you money for food, borrowing money for this, and you're tired giving money, and you're wondering, what can I give to these people? Now, for grace, I was tired. And I said, it doesn't matter if this business, they're promising me, in the next two to five years, my life will change. I will do it. And I want to tell you, friends, I want you to flash back. I want you to look at people who live in the slum. Are they confident? The answer is no. Do they dress well? No. Do people believe in them? No. Now that was grace. When I went to share this opportunity with people like Grace says, everybody rejected me. My family members rejected me. They told me wewe umetoka kwa slum to make one juzi ukifungwa diaper. Are you sure what you're telling us about an American company? You, you are getting lost. Your money is just getting lost. And let me tell you, training is what helped me because my upline told me, Grace, for you to become an accountant, you trained. And it is true I trained, although I never went to a class, I was getting books and reading from the house and then doing my examination. So she told me, if you're going to be successful in this business network marketing, you have to train hard. And for me, because I had the desire to succeed, I decided I'm going to train. And I learned one thing that you have to learn not to excuse yourself. And I learned a slogan, if you excuse yourself, you accuse yourself. And let me tell you, I stopped giving excuses. I stopped saying that I am busy in the office. I would come out of the office at six and I would get to a training even if it's only for 10 minutes. I was the most fearful person. I, I just wish I can turn back and to show you how Grace was fearful. I remember even the time I was told to stand and say my name. I shook and I never even opened my mouth because I was fearful of people. But you know, because of the desire to learn, I kept on learning. I kept on practicing the way the leaders are going to show you. And this is grace today. I can confidently be able to express myself. And because the fear started disappearing, I started learning how to do the for the three basics. I started reading the books that, Jay, that, that Grace is sharing you. You can see I have my GoPro and I'm in the house. I have a lot of books that I have read because of the personal development. And with time, I started getting the confidence to share the products. I started selling products. I started moving. For me, I never started with the supplements because I never believed in them. So even in the call and you don't believe in the supplements, that's okay. We have home care products. We have super grow. We have the skincare products. You can decide to use those products. For me, I used the home care products. I showed people how to uh, wash carpets. I showed people how to clean their toilets with the super 10. And I started making the profits. And I learned something that profits are better than wages. You see, my salary was 8,000 shillings. My applicant told me, Grace, if every day you can share about this product and sell 100 shillings, 200 shillings, there's a month you're going to surpass your salary. And that got me excited. And I want to tell you that passion 
is what persuades. I want to encourage you to have business. You are your own. What is actually going to push you like Grace is saying? You are the CEO of your business. Look at other entrepreneurs. Nobody is telling them close down your shop. In fact, this December, they are saying people have money. So I want to tell you this is the right time for us because when I strategize myself and focus to do the business, I decided I will attend training. Nobody is going to remind me because I'm the one who needs to change. I made profits before I made the bonuses. The profits made me buy my first phone. And I want to tell you my first phone was not even a good phone. Why was it so important? Because I needed to talk to my sponsor. I only needed to hear her voice to tell me which restaurant she is so that she can train me. And the rest is history because I was able to clear the debts of the shops. We were borrowing food from one shop to another. We were able to offset the rent arrears of eight months. I remember I was able to afford to do blood uh, hair or to make my hair. You know, as a lady, it's important to keep your hair nice. I was able to buy my first suit. You know, these are things that probably majority in the call might take it for granted. But I want to imagine Grace not able to wear a suit. She used to buy mutumba things all the time. And this time, if I can wear an, a new dress for the shop, that made all the difference. Then I was told how to create a network. I learned how to talk to people. And let me tell you, for me, all my relatives and my friends, nobody joined my business. If you're a distributor on this call, and you're feeling discouraged because your friends have refused you, and you're feeling that you want to quit, I want to tell you something. Find a reason why you can. Majority of people will find a reason, a thousand reasons why they cannot do it. Now, for me, everybody refused to join. I went back to my upline and I told them, you have talked to my friends, you've talked to my family. They have all they said they cannot join the business. What must I do to succeed? Because I must succeed in this business. I'm not going to get out of this business until five years are over. And let me tell you, she told me, I'm going to teach you how to make new friends. I'm going to teach you how to prospect. I learned how to make new friends. I learned how to sit next to somebody in a matatu and make a friend. I learned how to go to a supermarket and come out with a contact. And with that, I was able to sponsor total strangers. I became a direct check as a director of 40,000 and my salary is 8,000. Of course, that blew my mind, my mind. And that is when I made a decision to quit my job. I decided to do this full time. And when the company took me and my husband to the Windsor Golf and Country Club, I was trained. I got the leadership skills. I say, this is where I want to retire. I'm going to make a positive difference in people's life. I came with that knowledge and I started teaching people. I started giving my team a lot of information and I became a world team. My life has changed. Through this business, I've educated my brothers and sisters. Remember I said I'm the firstborn and my parents were retrenched. So I took up the responsibility of really taking care of them. Through the business, our children have gone to good schools. We are no longer living in the slum. We are driving on some plots in Nairobi. And let me tell you, life is a song, is new life. When I look back and I see that I came from the slum, I know new life is our life changing opportunity and actually it means it's a good given opportunity of course grace has grown as a person through reading of the books i've become a better person i believe in myself i am more confident i can like grace says i can even present to the president i have people who have a lot of money that people call me and i present to them and when I, me, I'm not educated. I don't even have a degree. But let me tell you, I have a degree from New Life, and I actually call it University of Life, because the kind of challenges I've been able to meet in this business, and I'm able to propel. I'm not able to come down. I meet challenges, and challenges make me go higher. Instead of them breaking me, they make me become a better person. And today, all the families and friends who refuse who refuse to join my business, they today say that business of grace works. And I want to tell you, Neo Life does not work. It is you as a distributor who will work it out. Work it out. Prove to people that this business can work. Get motivated by the people on the call. When you hear people giving testimony, like I said, I looked at Dorothy Nyongo and Mrs. Peraito. I said, if these wives can do, and they are the wives of ministers, why not grace and not, why not now? Now, if grace is a human resource person, 
Dongo. She has one, she has her PhD. I look at Purity Dongo. She has her past, her master's. She's, I think, pursuing her PhD. And she's doing this business. I ask myself, if a learned fellow like Purity and Isaac are doing, what about Grace who is not learned? We are giving the same platform. And it is the same. If I do it, I can make more money than Purity myself the motivation so i want to encourage you have the passion have the desire because when you have little desire you're not going to get good results and make sure that your desire is double just like a small amount of fire will just give you little heat you actually if you want more heat you need to put the fire burning so keep your fire burning find a reason why don't just look at the reason why you cannot do it say if grace can do it i can do it better I have a lady in, in my network. I have actually a lady who is single and she has never gone to class. The only document she has is an ID number. Her name is Margaret. She's a director. We have worked with Margaret. Her husband passed on when the, the, the young boy was, her only son was very young. But I met Margaret when she was struggling and she was introduced me to, to me by her pastor. We started working this business. Margaret does not speak English or even if she speaks English, she cannot express herself like Grace. I got hold on her. We started working in with Kiswahili. Margaret plots Billy Nairobi. She is now on her way to building her own home. Now, where else could I have impacted such a life? I have many other directors. I have a lady in Shuka who is doing very well, driving her own car, living in a beautiful house. She's called Mary Jane Arnold. Mary, Mary's salary was 100 shillings. I have a doctor. I have Dr. Mgam. Mgam is right now in Rwanda. I have Dr. Esther, uh, Dr. Esther Nzomo. She's uh, actually a wife to the governor, Kibwana, there. And these are people who are more learned than me. They're in my network. I'm teaching them how to do this business. Now, that is how I have been able to grow. And because of growing many people, guess what has happened? Grace from the slum took a passport. And me and my husband have really traveled. We've been to Cape Town, we've been to Sun City, I've been to Hong Kong. Most of the places that Grace has traveled with Isaac, we have been together. Now, I just want to tell you guys, the distributor, do not leave this business before payday. Work this business until the payday is, has arrived. Because just when you feel you want to quit, just then is when God wants to bring a distributor who is going to make your business blow to the next level. Keep at it. Never feel like quitting. And even if you feel like quitting, it is normal. Grace felt like quitting very many times. But I was told one thing. If you feel like quitting today, Grace, don't quit today. Quit tomorrow. So every time you feel like quitting, quit tomorrow. And you know what? Tomorrow never comes. So as you keep on waiting to quit tomorrow, success is going to come along your way. If Grace has made it from very humble beginning, not having a phone, not even able to afford 20 shillings, not even having a presenter, not even have confidence, not even having the papers that people may think papers are the ones that can make you succeed. If Grace has done it, I want to believe that everybody in this call, if you're a manager, if you're a senior manager, if you're a director, the sky is not even the limit. Let's join hands, make a positive difference in people's life because neo life is a God-given opportunity. I've been in the house because I have a small baby. I've been working the business from the house. I'm on maternity leave and guess what? There is no man that I have not been able to do this business. I always do. 500 points and above. Last month I did 1,000. The other month I did 900 points. And I, that is how powerful this opportunity is. That if you work it well and you give a good foundation as a manager and as a distributor, you're going to make money and earn what we call residual income. You're going to be making money even when you're not going very far. And of course, now we have the technology with us is going to help our business. Thank you so much. I hope that I have encouraged one or two people in the call that if Grace from a humble beginning has made it, you can also do it. The future for Grace looks very is to make many people identify their why. Because many people have been depressed. Many people have lost their dreams. The society has made people think that there is no hope in whatever we are doing. Our work is to make sure that we raise the hope of those people by helping them find their why. And when we help them find their why, they are going to achieve, nothing is going to stop us. I believe we are unstoppable. 
and this is the best time. As we roll up 2021, just know that people are being retrenched, things while businesses are coming down, but our businesses, you are the person who is in charge. You can make it go to the level you want because you hold it in your hands. And above all, put God in front because people belong to God and we are looking for these people to help us build the business. When you trust in God and believe in God and you are faithful in what you're doing, God is going to bless the works of your hands. I wish you a very good night and Merry Christmas. And I wish you the next step that you're wishing Let's meet to the, at the beaches of this world. Thank you, Grace. Thank you so much, Grace. And I just want to say that I love you and thank you for, for being a true friend. We've really traveled the world with you. And every time I look at where you are coming from, I just want to thank God for you and for the big team you're building. And to give the closing my remarks, I, I want to call uh, Piti Isaac, my upline, to close for us. Thank you so much, Grace. We are so grateful. You can see people are still on board and uh, I we cannot pay you, Grace, but I know that God has really paid you for where you are coming from. Indeed, you want a new code. Karibu sana, Piti Isaac, and close for us. Thank you very much. I really want to appreciate uh, Grace Ngatia. It's like uh, this, this evening we were dealing with Grace. I mean, Grace is yani. This Grace Ngatia and uh, this Grace Check. We are so impressed. Thank you for the wonderful work that Grace Check you have done. We are really touched. And uh, even the practicality, you know what you are, you, you, you are, you are telling your story, you are, you are doing your training from a point of what you're going through. That is very, that is really encouraging. And then, Madam Grace Ngatia, thank you very much, because you have actually spoken to us. You know, I, I was looking at it, the, the, the way the both of you started the business. I invited Grace Chege at Hilton Hotel. One of the reasons why I invited there was she had refused to come in meeting in other in other places but uh, when i invited her to hilton she decided to give it a chance now another one is actually coming from the slum i really love put the two ladies on the same platform so that when we are going to cape town we are going to mauritius when you are going to abu dhabi we are going together and when grace chega is driving great guy driving you know that is so encouraging this business does not matter where you start. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. The issue is, if you are going to work out your dreams, if you are going to, to have your focus, things will go well. I really don't know what you can do. Grace Ngatia, thank you very much. You have really touched the hearts of many. And thank you very much even for quoting people that you are really working with and you are really touching their lives. We really appreciate that. And, and there is nothing that we can really pay back to you. You know, when you share your life, when you tell us where you are coming from, when you, are when you tell us what, uh, you know, triggered you to do this business, where you are, when you tell us where you are even doing the business right now, that you are doing the business from home and you are able to reach out to so many. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, and to everybody on the call this evening, I want to remind you the business Regardless of when you joined, the business is you. You can actually go to any level and make up your mind to go to that level. Thank you very much. I really want to appreciate each one of you. May God bless you. We have not closed our meeting. We will actually go. Uh, we, we, we will tell you when we'll be closing, but chances are we are not really close, uh, closing, uh, you know, per se. But of course, we may, we may not have a meeting on 25th of uh, December. And we may not also have a meeting on the 1st of uh, January, but any other time we are going to have to have our meeting. And, and somebody told me as I, as, as I close, that there is no difference between 2020 and 2021. The difference does not come because we have changed the calendar. The difference comes when we change ourselves. There is no difference in terms of 2020 and 2021, with the corona or without. The only change that is going to come is when we change ourselves, when we deal with ourselves, when we deal with that fear, when we want to grow and go a little bit higher, that is when change comes. 
Otherwise, if you continue doing what we were doing in 2020, what is going to happen in 2021, the same results will follow us. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you very much for those that joined us from uh, Tanzania, those that joined us from Uganda. I could see our friends from Uganda, Lydia Musinguzi and uh, Tumishabe. Thank you very much. And of course, all the others that were joining us from Uganda and uh, of course, outside Africa and in Africa. And of course, our Kenyan you know, good friends. Thank you very much for being on the call this evening. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Signing off.